Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Nadine. Last episode, we gave you an exclusive technique on creating newspaper nails. Checked out the Miss Universe pageant. And went behind the scenes of Modern's latest artist session to hear from attendees and what makes it an inspiring event. This episode, we give you last minute beauty inspired costume ideas. Learn about the looks that make people scream at Asylum Experiment Haunted House. And head to Miami for the finale of Goldwell's Color Zoom. Tis the season for ghosts, ghouls, and goblins. At Villa Park, Illinois' Asylum Experiment Haunted House, Modern Salon TV dig up how their makeup artists prep actors for a Hollywood-like haunting. Hey guys, Allison here at the Asylum Experiment in Villa Park, Illinois, where we're going to go on a very exclusive tour behind the scenes, go room by room, and get the behind the scenes from the makeup artists who create the looks that just scare the hell out of people season after season. We can build a successful haunted house, we can build a beautiful set and all of that and have all the animated props in the world, but the one thing that brings the haunt to life is the actors. We've got 60 plus actors here a night. If you've got a, just a basic makeup job that's not, you know, they're not going to feel like they're actually playing the part. If you have a more detailed and more intricate makeup job, it's going to sell that will help them sell themselves as the actor in that room in the haunted house because i do a lot of formal occasions i do a lot of bridal parties and things like that and um it's always like oh okay wait instead it's it's totally different it's using the same facial structures and everything like that but it's bringing out the things that you try to hide in beauty makeup and try to bring them forward in special effects and we're here with tom in our victorian hallway room and what we're going to show you here is tom has light sensitive makeup on um, that also flows along with how her character acts to help sell a scare. So we're going to come in and we're going to see Tom's makeup. So here you see that Tom has some pretty basic airbrush makeup and some hand-painted um, mouth stitchings over here. And then at the flip of a switch, Tom's makeup actually changes. And you can see all the intricate detail that's put on in the makeup room. You didn't think you were going to get out of here, did you? I don't know where you think you're going. All you need is just a regular paintbrush, and you kind of just press and pull, press and pull, and just leave little marks. And it looks kind of like little triangles, but it's really easy that once you get that, you can go in with dark all in here and start to create teeth. This is the side that you're going to see her pretty much when she first kind of comes into the room and she's normal. They hit this light, the black light comes on. Hold this up for me. This is Tom, my beautiful scary little monster and then you can kind of start to see some of it turn up and that's just the start. Why do you come back every visit? Uh, to scare people. What is it about scaring people that is interesting to you? I want to see them pee their pants. This segment is brought to you by New Matrix Total Results Miracle Treat 12. Visit MyMatrixFamily.com slash Total Results to discover 12 instant benefits. Hi, my name's Jamie. And I love the way my hair color looks right when I leave the salon. But then I'll go home and I'll use a drugstore brand shampoo and my color fades and becomes less vibrant. I just wish I could find a way to make it last. I believe in miracles. Where are you from? You sex the thing, sex the thing. I believe in miracles. Looking for last minute Halloween costume ideas? Why not pay homage to your favorite beauty industry icons whose signature styles will easily be identified by any professional stylist? It's no surprise Halloween is often a hairdresser's favorite holiday. When you're just full of creativity and talent, sometimes the only hard part is finding out who to dress up as. Here are some industry notables easily recognized by their signature style. Make them yours for the night. TV star Tabitha Coffee is most often seen in head-to-toe black with her characteristic cropped platinum cut. Add an outspoken attitude and you're done. Did you want to portray the father of modern hair, Vidal Sassoon? Simply throw on a snappy suit and those distinctive black framed glasses and make sure to say words like marvelous. Feeling like a funky pirate? Take a cue from Robert Chromians and don lots of black leather, a kilt, and top it all off with his favorite, a Philip Tracy hat. Celebrity stylist Ted Gibson has a lock on the pink button-down shirt and megawatt smile. 
bonus points if you can get his client Angelina Jolie to trick or treat with you. Stylist and salon owner Brig Van Austin shows off bright golden waves and a playful style. Add a sheer genius crown for the final touch. Go all pixie punk like Hollywood stylist and salon owner and sheer genius runner-up Janine Jarman. Don't forget the cool tattoos. Want to look like high fashion stylist Charlie Price? Try a shaved head, dark framed glasses and some scruff. Beauty entrepreneur Michael O'Rourke is often seen with big sunglasses and lots of black leather. Add a sprinkle of industry passion to complete the look. So who are you going to be for Halloween? Make sure to tell us on our Facebook wall at facebook.com slash modern salon. Miami, Florida welcomed 3,000 people to the Eden Rock Report for the finale of Goldwell's Color Zoom competition. Here's Modern's rundown at the event. Hey everyone, welcome to Goldwell's Color Zoom Challenge. Pretty exciting. 3,000 entries, 40 countries, five continents. What a blast! I got to judge. Let's go check out the highlights. Color Zoom is not an easy assignment for the contestants or the judges. After an intense photo elimination in the three categories of partner, creative, and new talent, the finalists are invited to compete live in front of all of their friends, family, and colleagues. Each year, the challenge is held in a different international location. But Color Zoom 2011 was held on our own turf in Miami just two weeks ago. The competitors not only have to recreate the color shown in the winning photo, but they must also design the makeup and dress the model, all live, all in front of everyone, all in three hours. It's very exciting. And it's also difficult to judge. Just look, these are all so good. But all roads lead to the gala dinner and ceremony, where 3,000 international guests were treated to a spectacular show by celeb superstar Nick Arojo. Also introduced at the gala was the 2012 trend called Fascinature, a gorgeous collection inspired by the colors and shapes found in natural beauty. The highlight, of course, was when the winners were announced. Sorry, US, but congrats to Lisa Whiteman from the UK in the partner category, Ben Lin from Taiwan in the creative category, and Demi Lee Gardner from Australia in the new talent category. They were all gorgeous finishes, and these were deserving winners. It was a great three days, but let's offer the parting words to John Maroney, the VP of Education for Goldwell and KPSS. We just wrapped up Color Zoom 2011 global event. Amazing, amazing work by all the contestants. We just crowned the winners for Color Zoom 2011. And most exciting, we saw the new trend for 2012 called Fascinature. Wait until you see it. We're going to be bringing it to you through Modern Salon. You're going to be able to see it online. They're going to do great stories, great features. We're going to have great education for you out in the field. And most importantly, we want you to really get inspired by Color Zoom and enter the Color Zoom Challenge because the Color Zoom Global Event next year is in London. Can't wait to see you there because London's calling. See you guys. Thanks for coming, Modern Salon. We all know eyelash extensions can add instant beauty, but it has to be done right. Here's Nova Lash Lash Artist of the Year, Christina Perez favorite tip for finishing eyelash extensions. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm an advanced certified Nova Lash eyelash extensionist. Um, and one of my favorite tips for finishing off your eyelash application is to set the adhesive with some moisture in the air. I typically prefer to use the Evian um, Toning Mineral Water Spray, but since we don't have that today, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna mist this brush here with the water, get it nice and wet because the extra moisture on the lashes and in the air around the lashes is really going to help set the adhesive and dry it. So we're just going to go ahead and coat them in the water and we'll go ahead and let her dry for about a minute. Thanks for tuning in. Before we wrap, here's a chance to show off your creative flair. 
Just share your best inspirational or educational video in Modern Salon TV's You Share It contest. And if your video really is all that, it gets full modern exposure. Just click on the Community Videos tab above for the details. For now, stay tuned for some of your favorite industry faces. Hola, mi nombre es Robert Santana y estamos en Elements Hair Studio y nosotros estamos viendo Modern Salon TV. Hi, my name is Nick Arojo and you're watching Modern Salon TV.